barbecue and other things I want to do and this is what I've got going on for you man we're gonna do grilled okra that's right okra on the grill now look there's a fellow on the TV his name is uh, Stephen Reichlin he's also written a few books among them is the barbecue Bible he's got a website called the barbecue Bible and he's got about three different TV shows and uh, one of the things Reichlin's fond of saying is if it tastes good fried it'll taste even better grilled and I have found that to be true with just about everything except green tomatoes. I hadn't figured out how to grill green tomatoes yet. And I don't know if Franklin's ever going to show me. But I did figure out, I took his challenge. Years ago, I took his challenge and said, I bet okra would be good. Now, I guess there's other people that grill okra too. But I kind of just did this because of Reichland's suggestion years ago. And I love okra, y'all. I love it. Okra stewed. Just that slimy... <laughs> It slips down your throat and yeah and then you can stew it with tomatoes and not so slimy i love it in gumbo love okra gumbo i grew up on the east side of louisiana where creole gumbo okra gumbo's big thing in fact the african word for okra one of them is gumbo um i love okra the land i live on don't grow much but okra and purple hole peas uh but anyway uh okra's starting to come in it's almost july and um it's a uh, Looked at my watch to find out if it's July. Did y'all see me do that? That's kind of weird. All right, look. Anyway, it's real easy to grill okra. And I'm telling you, if you like fried okra, you will love grilled okra. And you don't have all the breading and the oil to worry about. Just a little bit of olive oil, some salt, some pepper. And sometimes I like to put Parmesan cheese on it. You can experiment with other flavors if you want to. Put some Cajun Creole seasoning. Maybe some lemon pepper or something like that might be good. Maybe some paprika. You can experiment with whatever you like. But I'm telling you, it's just fine with salt and black pepper and sometimes some Parmesan cheese. So that's what we're doing today on Big Lou Barbecue. I got some other things on the grill. I'll show you those too. And um, just grilling up a little family meal here on a uh, Friday afternoon at Big Lou's house. Big Lou Barbecue. Okay, the um, okra's starting to come in, but I just had a few pieces today in the garden. I got the grill fired up, so I'm gonna grill this okra. And to grill it, all you gotta do is wash it real well. Now look, sometimes these big pieces can be a little hard, but this one is still real tender and flexible, so don't you worry about that, all right? And you just coat them in olive oil, all right? You wanna put some, um, crack some black pepper over it, and then kosher salt. Now, of course, I may be doing it out of the order. A lot of people put salt first and then the pepper. That doesn't really matter, does it? All right, some kosher salt. You can use table salt if you don't have a coarse grain salt like kosher salt or sea salt. And then I like to do this. This step's optional, but um, I tell you what, it makes it good. I like to put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on it. You don't have to put much, just a little bit. And we just kind of mix it in there and make sure they're all coated with olive oil, the salt, the pepper, and the Parmesan cheese, y'all. I'm telling you what, it's real good. Oops, I moved the bowl off the way of the camera. All right, Big Lou Barbecue, let's get this on the grill. All right, grilling his soaker is not a whole lot different than grilling his sausages. I got some turkey brats. Turkey brats were on sale for about two and a half dollars a five pack, so we bought 10 turkey brats. These are little uh, smoked sausage called Zumo's Party Time from a meat company out of Beaumont, Texas. I live about an hour from Beaumont, so they're pretty prevalent around here. They're little, good little uh, smoked sausage. You put them on a bun or whatever. And uh, got the turkey brats going. They just got on there a little while ago. Nah, not quite time to turn them yet. And um, this is how we do the okra. I just place it down right like that. Just put it right like that. Across the grill grates. The small ones can fall through sometimes, so make sure you do run them across the grill grates and not uh, perpendicular to them. I mean parallel to them, put them per perpendicular not parallel so that they don't fall through and you turn them a little bit when they uh, get some grill marks on that side and flip them over and they get grill marks on the other side and that's all there is to that y'all grilled okra big lube barbecue we'll check back in a few minutes let's put it the cover on and let it go okay well I've flipped the brats I'm gonna flip this uh, okra over real easy not don't let it fall through big grates just kind of turn it over and get that side going all right not hard to do. These two got, those are getting just about done. You can tell when they're getting done, they get real tender, real tender, all right? But they're not gonna be slimy like boiled okra. And once they come off the grate and cool a little bit, 
They're actually gonna be a little bit crunchy. But I'll tell you what, I really like this grilled okra recipe. If you're wondering about the corn, um, this is corn we put up uh, a couple weekends ago. Uh, got some summer corn and sweet corn and um, blanched it and put it up in the freezer and freezer pack. So it's just been blanched corn. I'm just turning it frequently here just to kind of get it all warmed up on every side. Put some butter and kosher salt on it. Uh, Brats looking like they're getting close to done, and I can tell those Zumo's getting real plump, so they're just about done too. Big Lou barbecue. Okay, this is about done. I know it's about done, because just a few minutes ago, I checked the temperature on the brats, and all of them but one were 180, and that one was almost at 180. So, we're gonna pull the broccoli, uh, the okra off of here, just like that. Telling you what, grilled okra is delicious, y'all. If you like it fried, I guarantee you'll like it grilled. All right, try it. It's easy to do. Now, if you're not an okra person, this isn't it. You're probably not watching this video by this point in time. All right, this corn's done. I did brush some butter on the corn a little while ago, but since this video is not about the corn, I didn't show you that. All right, these brats are done. Turkey brats. You want to make sure brats are done to uh, at least 180 because um regular brats are made out of pork these brats are made out of poultry you don't want to mess around with underdone poultry or underdone pork at all all right so and these zumos they are done oops you burst open on me all right that's all there is to this we're gonna do a taste test on this okra I'll show you how that works. Big Lou barbecue. Okay, well, my wife is inside making a broccoli and cheese soup and some other things she wants to do. She's in the kitchen right now. The kitchen's kind of busy. So I'm doing the taste test outside in the open air where I love it. You're looking due west. That's why the sun's behind me. So I'll stay right here because if I get there, the sun's in your eyes. I don't want the sun to be in your eyes. Look at that grilled okra. Ooh, I picked one of the medium sized ones we had there. Now look, one of the things I like about that old smoky grill, you can grill direct on it. It's not like smoking quite, unless you really want them to do it that way, you can. And it's not like direct grilling like on the Weber, it's not quite as hot. I wouldn't see her steak on that old smoky, but the kind of sausages and stuff I was doing tonight, that corn, perfect, without flare ups, and without burning anything. You see that, that's not burned nice and toasted but hey sometimes if you do it on the Weber you get those grill marks or on a gas grill you can grill okra on anything now I don't need to taste test because okra is my favorite vegetable one of the reasons I grow it in my garden I like it every way but I think grilled might be my favorite that gumbo thing's pretty good too but oh yes indeed I love summertime grilled okra baby Big Lou Barbecue, thanks for watching. Hey, I uh, figured out one of them um, Facebook things. You know, I'm kind of tech tarted. Uh, it's Big Lou BBQ on Facebook. Check me out. It took me three days to figure out how to do that. Set up one of those Facebook pages. All right, other social media. You can catch me on CB Radio Channel 15, 10-4. Big Lou Barbecue.